Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com, the leading provider in spoken word entertainment. Log on to www.audiblepodcast.com slash science video to get a free audiobook download of your choice when you sign up today. no way to take in all the stimuli around you? Well, scientists and most people for that matter realize that there's a limit to how much we can take in at any one time. However, new research from Dr. Richard Davidson and his colleagues at the University of Wisconsin in Madison have found a way that we can hone our attention. We do it by breathing, or more specifically, a type of meditation. There's a phenomenon called attentional blink, and it's when we focus so closely on one thing that we miss the thing that comes immediately after it. So to explain what Dr. Davidson did, he measured this attentional blink in 17 subjects, asking them to spot numbers within a series of rapidly flashing letters, sort of like this. Most subjects recognized the first number, but when the second number was presented about a half a second after the first number, they missed it. Then Davidson subjects were enrolled in three months of intensive, 12 hours a day training in Vipassana meditation. It's a type of meditation that focuses on breathing in an effort to clear any judgment or mental noise to reach a sort of non-reactive awareness. Well, when they came back after three months of this intensive meditative study and went back into the lab and took the attentional blink test, they found that not only could they see the first number perfectly well, they also noticed the second number that came just a half a second afterwards the attentional blink was reduced. But here's the interesting point. Davidson measured the subject's brain activity using EEG before and after the meditative training. Before training, their neural activity increased so much when they saw that first number that they missed the second number. This is the attentional blink. But after meditating for three months, the brain activity associated with that first number was markedly reduced, and so they had enough attentional resources to catch the second number. Essentially, meditation may have trained their minds to let go of that first number and distribute their attention more evenly. Davidson proposes that Vipassana meditation can make a lasting impact on one's attention, perhaps allowing us to notice more and ultimately giving us control over what we want to focus on. For Scientific American Street Science, I'm Christy Nicholson. In Times Square, staying calm. Namaste.